Well, hello, fourth graders. We are going to work on your words that have O-R and A-R. O-R says OR. It's like you say the long O sound, and then you say the R. OR. In the A-R, you're going to say R, like army. It's kind of like the pirate sound, R. These are considered R-controlled vowels because the R is controlling the vowel, so it's going to be working together. So I've decided to do the O-R words first. So let's just jump in. The first word is going to be forest. Or est. The first sound is f. I'm biting my lip and blowing the air. F. f. Or is the O R. Put it in one box because they're working together. Or e is the short e. When we clap it out or count the syllables, that's a two-syllable word. R controlled vowel, that is a vowel sound, and this is a vowel sound. Or e. Eh. So we've got two vowel sounds right together. That's where we're going to break the syllable. For est. One vowel followed by one or more consonants. It is closed syllable. The vowel is short, so we write the macron on top. R controlled vowel syllable, closed syllable. The next word is going to be form, form, or mm. The first sounds f, or mm. My lips are closed, mm. One vowel. One syllable word. Form. It's an R controlled vowel syllable type. The next word is story. I will read a funny story. St or E. St or. That's that R controlled vowel. E. E can be spelled with a Y at the end of a word. You want to put the virgules, that's a slash mark, with the long E, so that you remember that the Y says the E sound. <clears throat> the next word is storm. I heard the storm outside. S, T, or, M. Mm. The first sound is Or, mmm, is the M. Oh, by the way, our control vowel and a vowel, store, and then E, that's a two syllable word, store, read. Storm, our control vowel, that's the only vowel sound, it's a one syllable word, storm. The next word is sport. I play no sports. Sport. Sp or t. Sp Please make sure your bubble sits on the writing line. The next sound is or. Or. And then t. Our controlled vowel, that's the only vowel. It's a one syllable word. Sport. The next word is corner. Corner. The ice cream man is at the corner. K or mm, er. K -k. Spell with a C. Or the O R. Mm. My tongue is up, my lips are open. Mm. Er. That's the E R at the end of the word. 
corner of an ER arch, um, architral valve and an OR. Core, my syllable break is right here. Corner. The next word is Florida. Florida. O or I d a. The first sound. It is a proper name. We have to capitalize the F because it's a name of a state. L. The L. Or I. 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 It's the I. D. 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 Sounds like a drum. D. 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 That reminds me the bubble comes first and then up to the top, down and bump. And a. Uh, a uh can be spelled with an A. That's the schwa. It says the uh, the short U sound. Uh, is spelled with up, I mean, represented with the upside down E in the virtuals. It helps us remember that. Any single vowel and an unaccented syllable can be a schwa, the uh sound. And that's true for this word. Floor, our control vowel, it and uh are vowels. So we've got three syllable words because we have three vowel sounds. Floor is one syllable. It is another one. And duh. The problem is, is the I is by itself, which means it's an open syllable. An open syllable, the vowel is long. And it's not. We can say Florida, which is the short I, or Florida, Florida, which is the schwa. So we could have two schwas in the word. Or if you say Florida, it's a short I. Here's the thing. Proper names do not have to follow phonics rules. Let me say that again. Proper names, people's names, places, do not have to follow phonics rules. So that's why it's okay that that's a short, open syllable because it's a proper name. The next word is morning. I get up every morning. M or m e n. The first sound is m. My lips are closed. M or Mmm, my tongue is up, my lips are open. Mmm, that's the N. I, it's a short I. This sound is mmm. My tongue is squished to the back. Mmm, like ring, king, sing. That's the N, G in one box because it represents the mmm, like king. Or is one vowel, in, it is the other vowel. We have a two syllable word. More is the first syllable. Ning is the second syllable. Morning. Let's do a few more and then we'll stop the list halfway through. We'll finish the OR and then we'll start with the AR on the second half of the list. The next word is forward. I ride my bicycle forward. Or, w, er, d. The F, it's not a proper name, so we use this lowercase f. Or, w, er, is the a, r, d, d, d. Like a drum, the bubble is first and then the tall person. Four word. Two syllable word, two vowel sounds. 
They're both are control vowels. The next word is force. Force. I will force my brother to do my chores. Force. Or the first sound is F. Or and s. Now, there's two ways of spelling the s sound. We can spell it with the S letter, or we can spell it with the C. Because C followed by an E R Y will say the s sound. And this word is spelled with a C with a silent E. The silent E is not jumping over the C to make the O R say anything different. The E is only there to make the C say the S sound. So I want you to circle the C and the E. If you want to, off to the side, write the S in virgules so that you can remember that it's making the C say the S sound. Force. Alright, so those are the words that have the O R spelling or come back so we can finish the other part of the list with the AR. I'll see you in a little while.